farmers market began uh, 10 years ago in 2002 uh, as a, an idea after a conference we held on um, the food we buy because we were exploring kind of what we were eating. I suppose it was inspired by um, the idea of fair trade food if we're importing it and locally produced if we could source it. So we want to take control of our food supply. In 2002 we, we, we ran this conference on the food we buy and uh, Doreen Allen was there and she inspired us really to move forward and hold a market. The, the farmers market was started over 10 years ago and I'm here nine at the moment and so I've, I was here fairly near the beginning of it and it's absolutely wonderful. It's, um, it's a community market. I'm a presentation sister from India and I came here to Nanonego Centre and I have stayed here for the last five years. And uh, one of the amazing things here was the farmer's market. I was amazed at the way people come together to form community and the way they share their gifts and the way they support each other. We are a member of the cook group and it was my turn to do the stall. <laughs> and the children were helping me two weeks ago and they really liked it so they wanted to come along again today because they yeah. really liked the atmosphere. I used to come here as a kid every single Saturday that it was on and I'd help dad and I'd be running errands and I'd be running up and down the market dropping coffees to people and all that kind of thing and uh, as I got older then I actually started to help like actually help like actually pour the tea and actually pour the coffee and then just gradually I started to kind of be handed over the stall as dad didn't decided you know it wasn't for him anymore he'd been doing it for so long so I kind of took it over then in the past few months. I've been doing it by myself. Mm -hmm. and it's a sort of social outing for a lot of people, I think, really. Well, I think it's very important to have these markets and, uh, and to have the local economy and to have local food and lovely local pr production. I think the most important part of it is the chats that take place here down at the end of the market, that people meet their friends and that is so important in this day and age particularly, I suppose. We pride ourselves in, in providing a platform for local people, uh, producers, who want to just put their toes in the market uh, and just to build up confidence. It's a lifestyle choice and it's a health choice and it it's both means that you can get what you need and it's not stressful and it's enjoyable and it's good for your well-being. It's a lovely atmosphere, lovely people, everybody's always in a good mood when you come here. It's very relaxed and I think the fact it's undercover adds to it because even if the weather is really rotten um, you can enjoy the space and sit down and have a cup of coffee and there's no like there's no kind of rushing you know there's no need to oh, to rush out of here because it's wet and miserable. Oh, it's very positive and <laughs> you might meet people like over the week and then you might see them at the market. And then when you're coming to the market, you're like, oh, this person's going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come. We're supporting all our local people, many people we know. We become very friendly with the actual stall holders. They know us and we know them. I love the market. It's so empowering, meeting people where communities meet. Um, it runs every second Saturday, so we don't run every Saturday, so it isn't too onerous on, on the stall holders. Time sort of doesn't really matter here. It kind of slows down a bit. But, but uh, is, uh, and there's a lot of good regulars. There's solid yeah, regulars. There's a lot of like good there. regulars here. Um, there's a lot of people who uh, they well they appreciate. I think what the market is trying to do here. The food's good and stuff. It's a good atmosphere yeah. in the place. Yeah. And, and for me, that's the way I want to shop. That's what I want to do. So you spend the morning, but you know, it's not all this madness and going into supermarkets and seeing the shelves thinking, oh God, there's so many choices. And then there really isn't any choice. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's been part of my childhood and now it's part of my business as well. I sell just veg and uh, some fruit as well. Um, I grow a lot of it myself and whatever I run short, I import uh, from other Irish growers. Recently, we've uh, organized an organic buyers group Kilavallan Organic Buyers Group and we bulk buy in stuff that we can't source locally. From the farm here at the centre we sell um, um, organic salad leaves and whatever's in season we do a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables. Our farm is organic. We have um, been farming organically since the end of the, about 1999. So we sell our produce, I suppose our main product really is the eggs and also some vegetables and preserves. We sell organic food from our organic garden. Uh, we sell organic eggs. Uh, and Paddy, 
grows veg and you do a lot of the plants, Paddy? A lot of and fruit when I have it. What I do is try to support the, um, the growers and the market in general. So things that people will buy in the supermarket that we can't grow, maybe red peppers out of season, tomatoes out of season, um, that sort of thing. At the, here at the market I sell just tea and coffee and juice and also cookies, handmade cookies. I'd always have tea or coffee, of course, at the, the end of a shopping day. There's places you can sit down and chat and there's coffee and tea and apple juice and orange juice and cakes and yummy things. <laughs> In terms of what I'd buy, I would buy honey, also plants and stuff from other, um, from other stalls. What I tend to buy, well what I bought today now was um, peppers and fruit from um, Adrian. Strawberries. <laughs> Raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah. Last week they were very nice buns, we couldn't stop eating yeah. them. Cake. <laughs> Cake. Cake. Sometimes. We get this organic vegetables and of course on top of that we know where it's come from. We know it's fresh. I buy my face cream from Rose and um, Rose Water. It's also great to, to, uh, to buy our breads and the cheeses I love and the yogurts. Um, yeah, it depends on what's there, you know. There's a nice variety of stalls there, so. It's my uh, vegetable supply. If I don't have vegetables at home, it's my source of vegetables, my cleaning products, um, my bread. Uh, so it provides me my, my staples food supply, really. And now with the Cobb Group, it nearly completes the food supply. Obviously, we have to buy regular milk and uh, like that at other places. I'd get some presents as well, so they're like soaps and um, maybe moisturiser, that sort of thing. Well, there's, there's lots of things here, and if you kind of do your shopping around that, it isn't like that awful chore of that stressful going into the supermarket. And you know you're not sending all the money out of Cork and out of Kilavullen and out of Ireland. I bought a fantastic bike here once. <laughs> more than that there's a bigger there's a community spirit here it's wholesome uh, i think the market is uh, it's a great social um, place in kilavolen i think there's a great uh, community feel here Paddy, isn't there's it? Like a great atmosphere and yeah. you're meeting different people all the time but definitely you can see people meeting here and you can yeah. see people happy to see each other and it's a lovely place for meeting yes. the various things that we used to have with the mart and the local creamery and things like that, they now thing of the past. Um, now we've got the farmer's market, which is a very good substitute. What I love about the market, I suppose, for me, is the social side of it and meeting people. A very good sort of um, feel to it, and there's a very good buzz to it, even if the market's quiet. It's actually, it's a lovely place to come socially, a lovely sense of community. One of the main benefits of the market is, is the social interaction. So it's, you're not just only supporting local producers, which is very important, but you're also, um, it's a great social event and, and, and always very enjoyable. It's just, it's a really, really good community. You get to meet really interesting people. Two weeks ago was the first time that I was here for a long time and there was people sitting here for hours talking. It was really nice to see. Through the years we have built up very lovely friendships with people. And I think it's a lovely market, it's really interesting, there's a lovely vibe here. Um, and it's just lovely to come and hang out here as well actually has been going on for more than 10 years already, so there's a, there's a sense of it really, you know, being part of the fabric here. No, there's a good vibe to it. There's always a good energy about the market, and there's a lot of people that you meet. It's very social. The impact of the market has been very good on the community. Yeah. I think that's why most people come, really. And what I find with the market is that it's the fellow stallholders, like everybody supports the market, all the store stallholders support that each other and I think if you don't have that base then it would be a struggle. I suppose the success of our market is that it's come from the bottom up, it's come from the community and they're willing to engage and put in time. A lot of voluntary work has gone into this, even this morning now Simon 
uh, has come and we've put up a, a, the art exhibition. It brings people together at a time where consumerism puts people apart. I'd say initially it was probably a lot, a lot like uh, the other farmers markets but I think as times have gotten quieter I think the value of this market has probably increased because the people who come here r realise what it is. There's a great kind of supportive sense among the stallholders that we buy from each other and support each other. So it's become, it's created quite a hub actually on a social level as well as um, a commercial level. Coming to the market is healthy. You meet your friends, you get loads of hugs, you see people growing up, you meet kids that have been eating food, you've got children coming and buying, you know, whether it's apples, whether it's apricots, it's absolutely brilliant. It's a community meeting, it's a community buying, it's a community coming together to take control again over their food supply. And of course we're grateful to the Nana Nagel Centre for supplying the premises here. It's a, a wonderful centre and the nuns have always been very supportive of, of the market and helping out. And I'm a member of the presentation community and we live here, we've been living here since 1984. We're really part of, of a lovely community here. There's our own community, the four of us, but we, we see ourselves really as part of a bigger community, you know, of our staff and also of the, the local people who um, are really so supportive of the sisters and of all we do. And I suppose we try to be part of that supportive community and the farmers market is a very important part of that community. And of course the Nano and Eagle sisters are here all the time which is a great benefit to the community. And when the weather's nice you can go for walks around and everything so it's really good. And the Nano and Eagle Centre is really nice. There's some beautiful walks there you can actually walk down to the river, Blackwater. You know of all the things that happen in the centre I think the market is one of the things that we're most privileged to have. I definitely recommend people to come to the farmer's market because it's, it's in the setting of the Nanonagel Centre and Nanonagel Centre is just about a mile from Kilavollen village. It's just really fun and enjoyable and we meet all friends and... We like the pigs. Yeah, and the pigs and yeah, it's just a really nice atmosphere. It's a wonderful way of meeting people and the friendliness among the people uh, is so palpable. Would we recommend people our own age to come to market? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yes, definitely. Because all the young people meet up here and it's yeah. such a good place to meet up. Mm. Oh, I certainly would encourage them to visit it for what they will purchase, but more so from, what, from the experience of it, from meeting people. Like I've met people here who come from Mitchellstown and they come really to meet their friends as well as buying lovely projects. It's a very enjoyable morning to spend. I wouldn't miss it for anything. I'm coming down here now nearly nine years and it's the most enjoyable morning that you will spend here in, in this part of the country. Programs that I have led and facilitated here, I kind of make sure that often they are at, on a day when the farmer's market is on. You know, because it does give you an opportunity for people who say make cakes or whatever or, you know, sell things, I mean make things particularly, um, they can sell them here. Well I suppose, you know, I lived locally for quite some time and I haven't been to the market as such and since I started working here I realised kind of, you know, it's, there's a lovely feel to it. It's often so hard to actually get the word out to people, you know, from local areas. It's a pity more people don't know about it, you know, that it, the, the, the broader community isn't brought in because I think it's just such a lovely thing to have. And I do think it brings people together and gets people, you know, talking and interacting and seeing what's going on in people's lives in a good way, you know. Um, do the local community really appreciate this market? I'm not sure it gets huge support that it could get, say, from uh, Kilavollen. But there's a lot of uh, surrounding townlands that really do support it. You know, there's a lot of people come from Glamworth, Ballyhooley, you know, Kildare, um, and even Mallow at that Mallow. Yeah, for yeah. my. Did you make new friends here? I'm sure. Isn't that what life is about, isn't it? If you like coming out on a Saturday morning um, and doing a little bit of shopping and trying to support local producers and meeting people who, who like same, the same kind of thing, then most definitely uh, you'd like to come to the Kilovillen mar Farmers Market. I do think people could gain from bringing their children here because in, in our local community there's, there's different primary schools and they wouldn't usually mix that much. And I think it's really good for children to make friends outside of school and like they'd meet so many people here and it'd be a really good experience and like personally some of my best friends didn't go to my primary school, I only met them here, do you know? 
and they've become lifelong friends. So all in all, the, the farmer's market's been great, and it is great. And everybody should come to it, more and more should come to it. The number of people I've met through coming here, you know, you get to know people. And to look around, everybody's in good form. Even when it's blink and wet, everybody's in good form. I would utterly encourage people to come. Ten years of going is a testimony of how good it is. If we lost our minds in the morning, our legs would bring us down to the farmer's market. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, it's local, it's organic, so join us. It's a great place to go. Thank you.